What is up you guys? I am standing right in front of our slime warehouse right now. So we got a slime warehouse and if you follow me on Instagram, if you follow us on TikTok or like on uh, my vlog channel and you already know like the whole thing. A lot of you guys on Instagram and on my vlogs were like we need a slime warehouse and I was like you know what I think I'm gonna put this on my main channel just cause like I don't really upload that much on here anymore and I miss you guys and I was like let's just do a whole slime warehouse tour girl i know some of you guys are thinking like because every time you guys come back to like this channel and you stumble across my channel you're like hold on this girl's still making slime yes she is <laughs> i will say you guys i don't know what happened from 2019 till today but slime is thriving more than ever right now i know that sounds crazy guys but you could ask any other slime shop they would tell you that right now the slime shop world is doing incredible 2017 2016 around that time and i feel like that's when slime was like thriving like the viral videos online but right now with social media and just like tiktok slime has just came back stronger than ever in a different form we're just so 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 grateful and thank you guys so much to everybody that has been supporting you guys are the best and you guys are the reason we are here today this is our homemade slime shop that we make like we're making this slime so thank you guys so much for tuning in and we're so excited we're so blessed and we're so happy that we're able to do this so without further ado let's get in to show you the warehouse let's go So this room is really just like an office slash conference area. Okay, so this wall, I just wanted a touch, like a touch of color in the offices. Just cause like, how much can you really do like with offices? Especially like they're just like all white walls. Like they all kind of look the same. For this wall, I actually ended up using Benjamin Moore. Which by the way, thank you so much to Benjamin Moore for sponsoring this video. I am so excited that I got to work with Benjamin Moore for this project because I was so excited to just decorate and paint and make this warehouse ours. First of all, Benjamin Moore has over 3,500 colors. 3,500 colors, girl. And because they have their own formulas, these colors cannot be replicated by other brands of paint. We actually ended up testing out a few different colors. We used this brand of Benjamin Moore. This is the color Rock Harbor Violet. And I actually was leaning like towards a violet color because my daughter's middle name is Violeta, which is violet in English. I ended up testing different colors. I wanted like pastel colors, but nothing too crazy. Since I couldn't decide, I actually ended up ordering a few of their 8 ounce samples from their e-store. And the process was super simple and I received them in a few days, which was perfect because they wanted to get this place up and running. Okay, but seriously, Benjamin Moore is the best paint I've ever used. I don't paint a lot and it went on so, so smooth. I literally painted this wall almost myself. Raul helped me set it up a little bit, but because he was really busy with the rest of the warehouse and like organizing, I literally painted this wall myself and it was so easy. It only needed like, not even like two full coats, which most brands you would need several coats even, but it covered it so freaking nicely. I absolutely loved 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 my benjamin moore i would highly highly recommend it to you guys so make sure that you guys check out benjamin moore's e-store to find your own paint samples and to find a local store near you on to the next room here is literally just a bathroom it's just a bathroom that's it it's just a bathroom it was also really important for me to have a space for my daughter mia so that when she's here and when we're working that she feels like she uh, is at home and not necessarily like at a warehouse so that's mostly why I wanted like some kind of office space. It's a fun little area for the kids. We actually like to hang out in here. I want to put a TV in here like whenever we have like a break or, or something like maybe we want to come chill in here just like have a TV. There's like a few things I want to add in this room but this is all we have going for now. Okay, inside the actual warehouse. In front of me right here we just have some shelving for slime. So all these shelves hold slime. We actually just got a few more, but we had most of these at the house. It's crazy because they hold so much slime. I mean, a slime is about roughly this size. So you can fit a lot. Seven slimes here, just in this little corner. I love these shelves because they're deep, because they're um, pretty big in height. Like they're, they have a lot of space. They carry like so much weight. And we're also thinking we're probably gonna add more depending on like if we see that we need more as you can see there is not many slimes on the shelf this is actually just slime that we usually leave aside we currently don't have anything in stock right now but for now 
they're empty basically. To my left, there is more shelves. We got some supplies. We have scents, we have food coloring, we have paint, we have charms, we have add-ins, we have extras that we like to throw in orders, sprinkles, we have all kinds of add-ins. I'll show you guys like the other side where like we have like more storage, like where everything's kind of put away in boxes. It just works, we know we have the basics here, but a lot of it is also like in boxed stored, in boxes stored. Behind me are some like restaurant tables. These are like the restaurant like uh, metals or steel tables, right? Yeah. And these are perfect for slime. If you see behind me, this is the exciting part. I can't wait to show you those. Back here, you make the slime and then up here, you would bring the containers and we would pack it into actual like slime containers, you know? And having something like steel is good because it won't stick to the surface at all. It's easy to clean. And what I like underneath these, they have like a shelf so that we could put the slime on there as well. Behind us, we have a bunch of glue. We just have these racks where we put glue gallons right next to the mixers so that we just grab them and they're easy access right here. These bad boys right here are industrial cake mixers. People either use them for like baking, people use them to make dough, and people are usually fascinated with these just because like you're making slime in a dough mixer. And the reason we do that is because it would be so difficult by hand even making one gallon with your hands, like it's a lot of kneading. For the volume of slime that you need to make, we definitely, definitely need these cake mixers. The mixers are an absolute need in the slime shop. This bad boy right here is our 140 quart mixer, y'all. This mixer alone holds more than all of those mixers combined. And that's all we had at the house. This is what's gonna make us a lot of slime. And I'm so excited because we would be like making slime night and day like all day in those and there was only so much you could physically make even if you're in the slime room all day a huge reason why i wanted a warehouse as well is because this is like phase three like it takes up electricity that i didn't have at the house and that's why we need like an industrial space that was like one of the biggest reasons we got a warehouse because we needed industrial space to be able to have these big machines so these are the slime makers. To my right and to my left, we have some packing tables. We got these packing tables. We ended up getting four, but we just combined two and two. Four people fit on these uh, each, so we could have eight people packing at once. And I also have a bigger packing table that I'll show you guys over there. That one over there is massive. Underneath, there's space for boxes and like all the supplies that you need. And honestly, compared to what we were packing at home, at home we were packing with like the regular like, uh, seven foot tables that were like low and like we were making it work with a few of those so these are gonna be great and i like how they're actually a little bit higher that way it's not like killing our back you know and to cool this warehouse down follow me we have this big old fan y'all like it's it's pretty big we need it to be cool in here i read really great reviews about it and it should be cooling this space down perfectly so i'm so excited y'all because i freaking love it back here but it's hot this is the wall of shelves for storage. But as you can see, these are pretty tall. Like this is what's gonna hold a bunch of storage, a bunch of containers, extra glue, extra supplies, extra everything. So we have everything lined up here. And if we need to get up on these stairs, get up here, grab what you need, and go. More supplies, this whole wall just has supplies. And behind these, there is a whole other section, uh, like the other half to the warehouse, basically. And what I just showed you now is all the slime stuff, like the slime area. Behind us though, my sister and I just launched a makeup line, and that is also ran out of this warehouse. What are these called again? Palette jack. We got a palette jack. Like for the pallets, these are the pallets. They're great to have when you have like all the orders. You could just like stack them all up there and it's easier to transport them, like to load them up. Also, if we ever need to move something around, you just put the pallet down, put a bunch of like product on it. And then this guy right here will help you move it around the warehouse. We have this packing table, which is incredible. This packing table right here is literally 12 feet wide. And I don't know, like what, like four or five feet deep? Like it's so big. This packing table literally is huge. And I love it because you literally can fit like 12 people on just this packing table. You can get four here easily, like four to five, four to five. 
and in the corners as well. You can literally fit like 10 people on just this table because it's so massive. It also has wheels. Shout out to my friend Laura. They were nice enough to sell me this table and I believe her dad made it. So like it's extra big, like they customized it, you know. It's like the biggest packing table I've ever seen. It's amazing. We just have more boxes. There is also a bathroom back there. And that is it for the warehouse, you guys. I think I showed you guys just about everything, but a lot of you guys were asking for this tour, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry if the lighting's like not the best. This is the best that we can do like back here at the warehouse. It's already nighttime as well. We're gonna be restocking really soon. Follow me on Instagram. I will update you guys on everything there. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.